it's very important to align the part before doing any kind of reverse engineering process. As we are in a software, uh, in the version of the software where we got the the regions, we are going to use the regions. So if you have auto segment, use auto segment. Otherwise, you can select by hand. Auto segment, I will do it by using 30 in sensitivity. Usually, it's what I'm using, and I'm just waiting for the software to perform the recognition of features. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's not that much because it's going to speed up the process afterwards. You don't need to create any kind of features, well, the minimum. Okay, so now if I display it in type of features, you can see here that you have a plane over there. If I turn, I got a nice cylinder over there. And I'm just missing my symmetrical plane, which I would need. So I will just create a plane here by uh, drawing a line roughly. So I don't really need to be perfectly accurate. And then I will ask the software to extract my mirror plane based on that plane that I just create and the mesh file. Preview and the software. Now I will do a better job than what I did. Here is the plane it found. Okay, so this plane. I will hide it, so I will display on my reference plane, but the last one. Now, I will make my interactive alignment by selecting here my position as my region plane below and my cylinder there. Of course, it defines the origin by uh, putting all the translation in gray, which means they are locked. Now, my Z axis is going to be that one. And of course, as the region points down, the Z axis is pointing down. So I will flip it. And then I will define the X axis as the plane I just defined just before for my symmetrical. And I will flip it also to have a nice view over there. Okay. And of course, this plane, which was kind of interactive, mainly the plane one didn't follow. And I don't really need to take care about those planes because they were just used for the alignment and if I go to the top view this part is aligned. 